This week, let's talk about the cabinet build for my 5F11 Vibrolux amplifier. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Before we get started on this week's video, I want to remind you to subscribe below and also click that bell icon so you get all of my notifications. So we're back with part two of my Mojo Tone 5F11 Vibrolux build. Uh, this video is going to concentrate on everything I did to complete this beautiful looking cabinet. So I'll talk about it a little bit after the montage, but as you can see, it's complete with backplate and my Celestian speaker in it. So without further ado, let's just go right to the montage. It's going to take you everything from building the templates to cut out the backplate to uh, finishing off the last little bit of woodworking and then tolexing the whole amplifier. So hope you guys enjoy. So at this point, I have finished doing my back plate. You can see that there's a couple imperfections in there, uh, maybe a little bit right here, up here, and then right here as well. Um, really, a lot of it's going to be covered anyway when I go ahead and do the uh, the wrapping of this with Tolex. So that's great. We're done with that back plate. I've also went and just mocked up what the chassis is going to look like in the body. And one thing I noticed here that I didn't really plan for is you can see maybe if I just get it like that, the screws for the chassis aren't going to line up with the same distance between the cutout. Uh, and that's because this chassis really should be uh, off centered a little bit just with how the writing is on it. Um, I don't think it's super noticeable, but you know, something I'll take into account the next time I do it. I didn't have the chassis before I cut this out, so I, I figured it would be the same on either side, but really the cutout could probably be shifted maybe a quarter of an inch or so to the left. That said, uh, chassis in there, it looks good. Uh, just showing the back plate. I'll kind of lift that up so we can catch it on camera. So the back plate's gonna go right in there like that. And I did leave just a little bit of a gap because this is gonna to be tolexed and I want that to, uh, to not run into each other, not be a, a super tight fit. Additionally, I've taken the speaker and you can just faintly see my pencil marks here from where the, the 10 inch uh, Celestian is gonna go. Um, I've off centered it by about two inches. And that's just uh, something I've seen done before. For me, the reason I'm doing it, and maybe the reason why it's done, is if it's two inches off center, that means if I put my microphone directly in the middle of this baffle, then I'm gonna be kind of in the ideal spot for when I record. So uh, that's done. 
I've also got the baffle in there now just to mock it up. Uh, get some, just the standard four screws to keep that in. And what I'm gonna do now is take out the chassis, take out the baffle, and for the 10 inch Celestian speaker, you need to cut a nine inch hole. I've actually got an eight and a little over three quarter inch plate that I'm gonna use as my template. I'm gonna jigsaw this out. Um, other than that, all I really have to do on the back is just put a couple small pieces of wood in there so I can fix the, uh, the back plate. And for that, all I'm using is this two by one. I'm just gonna cut it into three or three and a half inch pieces and then glue those into the side. So I'll have something for this back plate to butt up against when I, uh, so I can screw it in. So with that, let's do a little bit more woodworking. And then the next step is going to be to Tolex this amp.
hope you guys enjoyed my montage of my 5F11 cabinet build. As you can see, it's uh, looking pretty sharp. I'm very, very pleased with it. I'll try to get some close-ups on the corners because that's really the hard stuff when you're building it, is getting those nice clean corners. And then, you know, they're not perfect, but I'm a big fan of it. Um, one thing that was new to me doing this one compared to my old Yamaha G5112 build um, was doing these inside rounded corners here, here and here. Uh, as you can see in the uh, video specifically with doing the inside rounded corners for the back plate, I had to use a heat gun to meld the Tolex around. Uh, it turned out pretty good. It was the first time doing that. You gotta kinda take your time because if you don't, you could potentially rip the Tolex. But yeah, I'm very happy with how it turned out. Um, the cabinet comes in at about 11 pounds, although it feels a lot lighter. Um, that is with the speaker inside too. So um, speakers inside, no amplifier yet, of course. But uh, yeah, there's my finished cabinet. So next week, we're gonna look at the amplifier that goes into this cabinet. Um, this is essentially the main piece that I ordered from Mojo Tone. You could say that that is the 5F11. This is just cabinet stuff. Um, you know, Mojo Tones could provide you the cabinet if you want, like I said in last week's video. I just got the parts that I went over, the fiberboard, all the caps, all the resistors, the tubes, etc., cetera, from, from Mojo Tone. Um, that's the way I wanted to do it. I wanted to practice some woodworking. I like doing the Tolexing. It's something I'm kind of getting used to, and I'll probably continue to build cabinets like this if I ever come across or want to do it in the future. So that's it for this week. If you have any questions on the cabinet build, definitely hit me up down below. I'll try my best to answer them. I tried my best to capture as much of the build, the Tolexing, everything for the montage. I'm sure I missed some stuff. I was running around switching out cameras because batteries were going dead. Just really wanted to show you that it's not necessarily a hard task. It's maybe just a little bit time consuming. So with that, let's leave it here for this week. Next time we're going to uh, look at the amplifier build. Make sure to like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.